Okay, let's take a look at measuring op amp input offset voltages. And for this, we're going to use the Landboard's Uni Op Amp 04 card. The Uni Op Amp 04 card provides four channels. It uses a quad op amp standard type of part like an LM324 or an MCP6004 or others, and provides resistors and spot pads for resistors and then input and output connectors for each of the ports. It also includes a power jack. So it can be configured for most of the typical op amp uses, inverting amplifiers, non-inverting amplifiers, buffers, things of that sort. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty configurable by just putting the different resistors you'd want on the different pads. And it has right angle headers for the input and output connections. Power comes into the card either through a right angle header pins or through a five millimeter terminal block. Each of the four channels looks like the schematic here. There's a three pin header for the inputs with the plus and minus pins for the op amp and a ground pin for each channel. Uh, all the grounds on all four channels are connected on the card through the chip and there's a ground plane below the card. There's resistors for pull up and pull down of the positive and uh, of the positive pin as well as a resistor to ground on the negative pin. Uh, typical feedback resistors and other configurations. So you could divide the input, negative input as well here with these two resistors. So basically you build the card by stuffing whatever type of resistors you'd want to put in this different spots, different values for different configurations or leave the spot open for those resistors. Here's a chart that shows the configuration, the different resistors uh, reference designators for each of the channels. For instance, AX minus through IX minus would be R3, which would be the resistor that's here. Goes between the input minus and the op amp input minus. Basically, can, anything that can be done with those configurations can be done there. Let's take a look at some typical circuits. These circuits are drawn from TI's app note 31 for op amp circuit configurations. This particular one is a difference amplifier and shows what the different resistors and such would be for that. It's just shown as an example that could be configured on the card because all of these pads are provided. And here in particular showing how to stuff those particular pads and this is for channel one. If you wanted to do a current to voltage converter it would look something like this particular circuit with these stuffing options. An inverting amplifier is fairly simple, just the two resistors and this one gets pulled to ground. So that would follow that pattern and that one would get pulled to ground. These two would get left open. And a non-inverting AC amplifier could be done as well in place of a resistor. A capacitor could be installed between the pads. So that's just some of the things that could be done with the card. If there's more than one component required at a particular location, maybe for some kind of filters, uh, probably two leads could be shoved into the holes. The card is laid out with holes that will fit quarter watt or eighth watt resistors. I'm using eighth watt in the example we're gonna look at. Uh, the four channels are shown here. This is for the first op amp in the quad op amp part and the resistor values or the resistor reference designators that go with it. Same thing for the second part, third part, or the fourth part. To measure the input offset voltages, the card gets wired up like this. Quite a few of the resistors get placed with, replaced with wires. But let's take a look at the design that gets you there. The design is based on this article, Test Op Amps via Simple Input Offset Voltage Measurement. It does have a caveat that it won't measure below 100 microvolts but the test method is really simple basically the op amps get set as uh, unity gain buffers with just wires attached for the negative feedback and the inputs come off a split voltage divider the power supply voltage depends upon the op amp being used for the mcp6004 that's 
5 volts typically, but for these other op amps, it's 12 or more volts. So be careful if you apply power to make sure that you're within the limits of the parts. This voltage divider is on the card, so we'll show that in a second here. But the methodology is to use a digital multimeter to measure those voltages. The voltmeter needs to be able to measure below a millivolt, so I'm using an XTEC EX330. That particular meter will measure 100 microamps, so 0.1 or 100 will measure 100 microvolts or 0.1 millivolts. So that's definitely good enough for these garden variety sort of op amps. Those op amps um, have typical values of one to five or seven kind of numbers for offsets. It wouldn't work well for very low offset high quality op amps, but it's adequate for just uh, quickly screening an op amp to make sure that it's a good part. As I understand it, some op amps you might get from overseas, maybe recycled, poor quality, bad copies, who knows what. And this particular circuit does a very good job of testing those op amps, as well as binning. If you wanted to go through a pile of op amps you had and find ones that have low offset voltages, you could find them that way as well. This is that same schematic, but marked up for the reference designators on the card. So basically, all of these get replaced with zero ohm wires on the card. And R6 and R4 are used for the voltage divider for the bias voltage. The capacitor gets installed here uh, in one of the resistor locations and the regular bypass cap for the card is used. So it was able to completely do this test setup quite nicely. It's, let's take a look at the card. This is what the wiring on the card looks like. It's a little sloppy for daisy chaining all the plus inputs together, but that's in a ring here around the card. The Most of the parts are just wire jumpers, as indicated on the previous schematic. Here's that capacitor for smoothing that voltage, and here's the voltage divider that the capacitor is smoothing. It's a couple of garden variety 10K ohm resistors measure uh, takes that 12 volts that comes in or 5 volts if it's a mcp 6004 takes that voltage and divides it in half and the measurement method is basically to measure from this point right here which is where r8 is which is the input voltage tap off same as these other points that are all wired together through the pluses and then measure to the output pins so if you go around the part you can find out what the offset voltages are for each of the channels I bought three tubes of op amps with three different part numbers and they're all new stock bought directly from Mauser so they should be all good parts and I just picked the first part out of each tube and measured the offset voltage using this method. The LM324 NE3 part has values that are all below one millivolt offset voltage with 12 volts running and one milliamp. Uh, this is a little more odd part number, the NJM2080D, but it is available at the moment uh, in some somewhat limited quantities. It also has pretty good offset voltage numbers, below 1 millivolt in all cases, and it met, uses quite a bit more currents at 8 milliamp part. The MCP6004 was running at 5 volts, and it's pretty low current. I think it's 1 milliamp or less. I measured all four channels and it was surprising that this one had the highest offset voltage of all of them. One of the channels was too low to measure, so I just marked it as less than 0.1. But this third channel came in at 1.3 millivolt offset, so a little bit higher than all the rest of the parts. Um, a little bit unexpected because this is, I think of it as a newer part. But that's pretty much what, this, what the circuit does. It it's, functions quite easily and easy to test the offset voltages. Again, the caveat here is that it won't test really low offset voltage parts. Um, in this particular case, you can see it just says, oh, I know it's probably less than a millivolt, I don't know, or 0.1 millivolts. I just don't know what the voltage actually is. Thanks for watching. I'm going to sell the op amp card on Tindy. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well.
We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.